Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's C Vance, and today I'm going to be giving you a step by step tutorial of my makeup routine. I'll also be adding in what products I use, but before I do that, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. The first step in any makeup routine should be cleansing the face. So um, I just use a cotton sponge and cleanse off the face. Make sure you're getting everywhere the eyelids, um, by the neck, everywhere that you're going to be placing makeup needs to be clean so that you can get a flawless look. The next thing I use is e.l.f. Grip Primer um, for the face. This is just so that the makeup can stick to your skin and it can lock in, basically. So I just apply that to my brush. I don't put it on the skin. I apply it to my brush so that I have more control over it. After I'm done prepping my skin, I do eyebrows next. I use pomade in a brush. This is similar to an eyebrow pencil, but I personally feel like you have more control over how the eyebrow looks. With the pencil, I feel like the brow can look very dark really fast. You have to have a light hand when you're working with the brows. So I like using the pomade over the eyebrow pencil. Also, for the girls that just started doing makeup, this is probably the hardest step. You just got to keep practicing and keep practicing. It'll get easier. It's still the hardest step for me, but it'll get easier. You just got to keep practicing. And then, as you can see, I keep brushing it out, and then I'll go back in and darken it up. So that's what you're going to do the whole time. You're going to do it until you achieve like how dark you want the brow to be and how realistic you want it to look. So you just got to keep brushing it out and making it as dark as you want it to be. All brows are going to look different. Don't expect everybody's eyebrows to look the same. It's easier when your eyebrows are arched. So if you're trying to start on doing your eyebrows and you want it to be as easy as possible, please get your eyebrows arched first. And it'll be easier. I just say follow the same line as your natural eyebrow and you'll get the desired look. And like y'all see, I just keep going over this same eyebrow over and over again. Like I said, this is the hardest step and this is probably the longest step for me also. I always take the longest doing my eyebrows. Um, don't expect for both eyebrows to look the same. They're not twins. They're going to look alike, but they're not twins, y'all. So don't beat yourself up about it. After you're done with the pomade or the eyebrow pencil, the next step is using a flat concealer brush. Um, and you're going to put concealer that is two to three shades lighter than yourself or your client. And you're going to carve out how thick or thin you want the person's eyebrow shape to be. This part, I would say, take your time. Eyebrows is just one thing. You literally just have to take your time, especially if you want like a flawless brow. If you want like that perfect brow, you really have to take your time. Um, this is the easiest step to mess up also. So you really just got to take your time and you'll get exactly what you're looking for. Sleep in mind, yeah. Let's make it happen, girl. I need some time. Speaking of time, who stopped it? That's the feeling that I get when we lock lips. I got the weed at the crib and the liquor too. I fuck your soul, I release in your spiritual. I be your muse, bring your easel and pencils too. Here you go, you try to tease with them pictures. You could ride on me just like you ride. 
at the top where you're concealing, I usually try to use their foundation shade so that way it's not as light at the top. But if you don't and you end up using concealer, just make sure you blend as much as possible. You have to blend, blend, blend. So that way you cannot tell that you use concealer at the top of their eyebrows and it's going to look weird once you put that foundation on top. After that, I'm just brushing it up, making sure everything looks like perfect and in line. If I need to add a little bit more pomade just to make it a little darker. And then that is how a perfect eyebrow should look. The next step for me is I add foundation swatches on all around the face. I don't get too close to the inner corner of the eyes because that's where I add the concealer. And I don't like adding concealer on top of foundation. So I leave that spot, um, I leave that spot empty. Um, for this, I say use a big brush. I'm not going to tell y'all what brushes to use because everybody has a preference on brushes i would just say use a thicker brush when it comes to foundation because you want to hit all the points like you want to get as close to the skin as possible you want to get you want to cover as much skin as possible um you can't really see it on here but make sure when you're doing foundation you try to get down to the neck and everything else um and yeah Then after that, I'm going to be applying concealer two or three shades lighter than the the person's uh, skin color. Um, I added it on the outer corners of the under eye, but you didn't see me um, add it to the inner corners just because I didn't want to add too much concealer on her face. So I just blended that out. I felt like that was already enough. I just blended it out and y'all see that in the next clip. Also, you'll see me adding concealer on the chin, on the top of their lip, the bridge of the nose, and in between their eyebrows. I don't add too much on these spots either because I want it to be easy to blend. Right here is a very important step. This is when you're blending out the concealer. You don't want to blend out too much that it starts to blend in with the foundation. But you also want to blend in so it's not that obvious that they have concealer on that is very light. Um, blend as much as possible, though. You have to take your time on this step. Please make sure you take your time. Please make sure you take your time because concealer can look very crazy when you're done. So please, please, please blend as much as possible. But like I said, don't blend too much. Um, blending is one of the very important parts of doing the makeup. So just take your time when you're doing this part. I'm making a change today. The liquor been taking the pain away. I heard you was giving your chain away. That's kind of like giving your fame away. What's wrong with you? I sit in a box where the owners do. A boss is a road that I've grown into. I love you to death, but I told you the truth. I can't just be with you. I'm only you. Yeah. I got one virtual, got one in that dance. The only two. Man, how many times have I shown it through? Man, how many nights I've been woke?
four, swerving the pot. Holes, not trying to fuck up the wheels on the road, okay? Funny how life goes. He thought he was sick, now we wiping his nose, okay? Soon as you give him your soul, you blow up and they say you're selling your soul, okay? Then when my life exposed, they want to know about the highs and lows. Well, summer, all I did was rest, okay? And New Year's, all I did was stretch, okay? And Valentine's Day, I had sex, okay? We'll see what's about to happen next, okay? Okay, okay, we'll see what's about to happen. After I'm done blending in concealer, I set her face with setting powder. This is so that color locks in and the concealer does not sweat away under that eye. And also, you want to put it everywhere you put concealer. Wherever you put concealer, you're going to put setting powder at. Um, after this, because right now I'm just pushing it into the skin, I'm going to blend it out on her skin also. So it's going to go everywhere I put the concealer. So the chin, the bridge of the nose, and in between the eyebrows. And then this is just me making sure I blend in all the setting powder, making sure there's no like flyaways, no nothing just sitting on top of the skin is pressed and where it needs to be. After that, I use my bronzer palette from Juvia's Place, and I place it right on the cheekbone. Um, I do that to both sides of the face, obviously. Um, and I try not to make it look too dark, but at the same time, I want it to look dark so that way you can tell, like, this is her cheekbones. After I'm done doing her cheekbones, I um, contour her nose. I bring that contour all the way up to her eyebrows so it can look as natural as possible. And I also use that same contour palette, that same shade as, um, I still use it as eyeshadow also. So it can look as natural as possible. And you're just going to see me doing her eyeshadow and also doing her the bridge of her nose, contouring her nose. I 
After I'm done using contour, I use Juvia's Place, um, their blush. I put it right on top of the contour, so it's just like a mixture of dark and pink, and it's not so pink on the skin also. Um, and I'm going to end up blending that out with the same brush that I use for contour also, so that way she doesn't look so pink, but at the same time, you can still see the color. After that, I used translucent powder to let her bake. The, the same places that I let her, uh, I set her concealer at, I let her bake. Um, it's not going to be for too long, and I don't put that much on there. It's just going to be for as long as I put her lashes and um, do her lips. For the lips, you know, we do the dark brown. Um, I use Selena Gomez Rare Beauty uh, Lip Liner. Personally, I like this. It's really good. But if you on a budget and if it's not that deep to you, you can go and get some brown lip liner from anywhere. You do not need no $14 lip liner. But me personally, I like it. So I'm just going to say that. Um, after you're done with the brown lip liner, make sure you blend that brown lip liner as much as possible so you won't see no harsh lines once you go to add the color inside the lips. So I would just say rub your lips in um, as much as possible so that it blends before you add lipstick in the middle. And right here, you can see her brown lip liner is blended. To perfection it looks like her actual lips and then I'm gonna add a pink in the middle you guys you can add whatever color you want this is a pink color from Mac I don't remember the exact color I know it was from the Jody line um but elf has a color like this it's so many like cheap drugstore brands that you can find and you can also put like together your own uh lip combo Also, right here, you can see her popping her lips. Please do not rub them in. Please do not rub them in with your lips. Pop your lips, and it'll uh, blend them better than rubbing them in because you're going to mess up the lip liner. You're going to see me adding more um, lip gloss to her lips. I just want that color to pop as much as possible. So I keep adding and blending it in as much as possible just so we can see that pink um, in between her lips. After that, I add a clear gloss um, at the top, like around her lips where I added the brown liner at just so it can look as glossy as possible. You do not have to add no 
a clear gloss in the middle. I just say do it around the lips. And it does not matter what kind of clear gloss. Just as long as it doesn't have no shade in it. So that it won't throw off the lip combo. After that, I am brushing off all of the translucent setting powder using the same brush I used for um, the contouring. Um, I don't want her to bake for too long because that is how you have a harsh flashback once you put flash on your pictures. So um, I don't recommend you baking for that long if you do decide to bake. Um, if you set, that's fine, but baking can be very like scary, so I try not to do it too I try not to do it for too long. I did her eyelashes off camera, but after that, I usually go in with the eyeliner and get that um, eye line right there at the waterline. Um, try to do this part as fast as possible because people's eyes water fast and you don't want to mess up the setting powder and the concealer and all that. So try to do that part as fast as possible. It looked like I was going slow, but I promised I was going fast. You want to add a little bit more color, like a little darker look to the eye line, the uh, the eye line at the bottom. I say add some mascara also. She has some long um, bottom lashes, so I wanted to do the mascara at the bottom, but you don't have to add that if you don't want to. The last step is setting spray. This is so you will not sweat out your makeup and you can look good for the remainder of the day. This is the final look. Thank you, everybody, that made it this far. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, tell me what you want to see next. Thank you.